Today's weather is going to be 86 degrees. Nice, bright, and sunny. What other responsibilities along with visiting uh, different premier programs do you have as National Vice Commander? We oversee uh, various commissions. We have 21 commissions in the American Legion. Uh, just to name a few, uh, a few is Veterans Affairs and Rehabilitation. So visiting VA hospitals yeah. is one of the responsibilities. Um, we also have Veterans Education and uh, Employment. So visiting uh, departments of labor, uh, visiting uh, colleges that support um, the GI Bill, those types of things we check as well. How did you get to where you are today in the American Legion? Like, How did you build your way up to National Vice Commander and yes. what skills did you need to get there? So there's, there's various skills. If I was to, to name one skill, it's to be very personal, uh, personable and that is treat everybody with dignity and respect. Um, how did I get here? Uh, just like I've done all my life is I've started at the bottom and worked my way up. And I think the one key that I would, I would tell everybody is continue to learn, continue to educate yourself. Uh, we started out in a paper world in the American Legion when I first started, and now we're digital. So learning how to operate a computer, uh, you, learning spreadsheets and, and uh, how to uh, have a digital uh, creation are all things that I've had to learn uh, mm -hmm. to become successful and to get this position. Mm -hmm. There's so much that happens in the American Legion. We have, we're, we're such a diverse organization with so many hands in our communities. If I was to try to tell you uh, what the American Legion does, I couldn't do it in one sitting or one day. But what I can tell you is go to legion.org and research it for yourself because it is a wealth of information and anything that the American Legion does can be found there. All right, well, I thank you for your time. Yep, thank you. On Monday, the president of WVU, Gordon Gee, paid us a very special visit to our state. After his speech, we were able to get a couple of questions in with him about what he thinks about MBA. Last year, I came a little bit later on. I think people are exhausted this time. There's a lot of uh, beans and a lot of good, uh, good spirit. In the on Wednesday, the fire crew went through some training exercises, including seeing a model house fire and putting out a fire in a helicopter. Matt Reed, a firefighter with nearly 30 years of experience, spoke on the realism of the house fire simulation. With the dollhouse, the simulation is very accurate because it um, shows how fire moves, how smoke travels, uh, different uh, flow paths that it'll take because it takes the path of least resistance by um, opening and closing the, the portals. It, it simulates how fire will progress through a house and uh, how the smoke's going to travel. These will be just two of many training exercises the fire crew will experience this week. Breaking news. Last night, there was a truck accident outside of Panhandle and the West Virginia building. Two boys got injured in the accident. However, firefighters and EMT stepped in and both appear to be recovering. Jerry West was born here in West Virginia and would go on to play in the NBA and eventually become their logo. Jerry West over his career won a national championship and was inducted into the Hall of Fame. Now, we have an interview with a previous West Virginia Mountaineer. You can't be a Mountaineer fan or grow up in West Virginia, live in West Virginia, without knowing who Jerry West is, who number 44 is. Um, when you think about someone that embodies uh, the true Mountaineer and the spirit uh, of West Virginia and is just beloved by the people of West Virginia. Is Jerry West. Um, I mean, leading Mountaineer basketball to a national championship game, winning a gold medal, being uh, the NBA legend that he was, especially coming from a state like West Virginia, having that West Virginia connection to just instill pride in our state, that somebody from the little East Bank, West Virginia, could go on and do the things that he did, uh, win NBA titles, uh, not just on the court, but uh, managing and leading the Lakers, and just the success that he had uh, as a 
uh, basketball in basketball operations management it's just it's unbelievable it's just the pride that it gives people in our state um, there there won't ever be another jerry west